Gavin Newsom was seen cleaning homeless encampments. Many cynics will say he is doing this as a photo op, but I think he just needed to blow off a little steam after being passed over a president by Kamala Harris. Gavin, if you want to sell the idea that you care about the homeless, snap a pic of you trying to find out what happened to the 20 billion of funds that otters couldn't track down. I'm tired of our tax dollars being wasted on inefficient programs for the homeless. We can end homelessness tomorrow. All we gotta do is rot up all these people on the streets and send them to Mars to terraform the planet. The beauty of this plan is that contrary to popular opinion, the immediate need for homeless people aren't homes, it's rehab and mental health services. That's why the ships we send to Mars will be giant floating rehab clinics, like a Passages of Malibu that floats across the stars. I mean, what better place to get sober than space? And when they touch down on Mars, they got a 0% chance of relapsing because there's no drugs on Mars. And to top it all off, they get a fresh start on a new planet with a great, high-paying terraforming job. I know some of you dorks are probably thinking, you are setting up an interplanetary penal colony, and not only is that ridiculous, it's so inhumane. First off, Penal colonies get a bad rap. Australia was a penal colony. Look how well they are doing. Aside from breakdancing in the Olympics, they're doing great. And the main issue with colonies is in order to colonize a new land, you have to wipe out an indigenous people. And the beauty of colonizing Mars is that there is no indigenous peoples to wipe out. And if we do happen to find life on Mars, it won't be human life, it'll be alien. Alien lives don't count. We could just kill them off with a clean conscience. We have the opportunity to get all the benefits of colonization with none of the guilt. And as far as this plan being inhumane, what's inhumane is how we let our homeless citizens rot in the streets at these homeless encampments, which are effectively open air drug markets. Instead of funneling our tax dollars into homeless programs that best case scenario are inept at doing their jobs, worst case scenario, they're acting as vehicles for embezzlement and money laundering, I say we make a bet that our homeless communities have what it takes to colonize the stars. The grandchildren of the people that we ship over to Mars will be like the grandchildren of the people that came over to the U.S. on the Mayflower. They're going to grow up to run hedge funds, ask their parents for million-dollar loans to start businesses. Some of them will be so rich, they will pretend to be poor and pursue the arts. My plan is to set up the homeless to be the future one percenters of Mars. There are people today who claim to be advocating for the homeless, and all they're doing is making Instagram slides about how we should call homeless people unhoused. I'm out here trying to figure out a way to turn our homeless population into the ruling class of Mars. That is real advocacy.